This is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I gave it five stars. Now, if you saw the unboxing, you saw that I was excited to get this. I'm a humongous fan of David Williamson. But I try not to let that kind of stuff bias me. Uh, so this is the kind of thing where I was going to give it 4.75 stars, but I don't have that as a rating on my site. So I decided to go, I rounded it up. Um, and so, you know, it's hard to give a, a product a perfect five-star rating, but there's so much stuff on here that is just incredible that, it, you know, five stars is easy to give to this thing. The only reason I was thinking of giving it a teeny bit less was it's a teeny bit on the pricey side, but for who you're getting and what you're getting, ah, it's, you know what, it's 150 bucks, okay? That comes out to about 37.50 per DVD because you get four discs. So I just uh, pulled this out of here. And it uh, opens up, and you get, oh, there's a little paper in there. You get these four discs. Um, and then you get this other thing here that says to go online and register, and you get some more free content. I haven't done that yet. So we're just going to base the review on these four. And I'm going to be looking down here because there are little notes. Let's see if you can kind of see that. Kind of a bad glare there. Uh, that's disc one and two. Is super close on that. You kind of see what's on there. And then this three and four. There's a lot of stuff on there. So let me just, I, there's no way I'm going to go through this whole thing on this review, especially in the video review. Because remember, I want you reading my stuff, not watching it. Uh, you yeah, know, you can watch it too. You can watch my beard grow. It's getting a little bit, uh, I don't know if I can call this a beard or thicker, but it's less uh, it's less not there every day. So anyway, uh, the first disc, you get uh, his professional show. So you do see a live show. This was actually my least favorite thing, surprisingly. I really do like David Williamson. I like watching him perform. Uh, but the audience didn't speak English very well. And so a lot of things were kind of, um, there's kind of a communication barrier. And his stuff just didn't play as well with uh, an audience, maybe an American audience, or one that sort of got his sense of humor. So that was a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping to see one of his, you know, uh, a performance with uh, with an audience that could relate to him a little bit better. But other than that, I mean, the, the material was incredible on there. Uh, he does the old uh, threaded needle thing, and his it's amazing. I mean, the thing that blows me away about his stuff, his sleight of hand is incredible. Uh, this guy is truly, David Williams is truly a modern-day uh, sleight of hand master. The guy is amazing. Uh, a lot of people don't know that about him. He's, they know him as sort of a sort of funny goofball. But the guy is incredible. And his stuff is so good that you'll watch it and he'll do moves that you know, you know, standard stuff, top changes, palms, that, that kind of stuff. And you won't see it. You won't know that he used it. And you'll be totally fooled by the effect. So he's very, just very, very good to watch. This freaking set is 10 hours long, man. There's a ton of stuff on here. There's no way to go over all of it. Uh, a couple other highlights, though. I love the uh, confessions section, which was just him and the camera, and it was beautiful. There's some great stories, some good stuff about how he got into magic, some just some really cool stuff, what kind of books he liked and this kind of stuff. Um, there's a whole segment on his striking vanish, which is awesome. Uh, there's stuff in there that I didn't, even, I never even thought you could do with the, do the striking vanish with, or that you could use the striking vanish to accomplish. Um, there's a four-part interview segment with Luis D'Amato's. Uh, there's, let's see, what else we got on here? Um, oh, the last disc has uh, his handling and take and tips and nuances and so forth on the top change, the pass palm, which is sort of his move. Uh, classic four, slip four, second deal, bottom deal, double lift, diagonal palm ship, holding out cards, pinky count, palming, false shuffles, uh, fan edition, which is, I think, uh, sort of his own move. And uh, the Scoop Edition, which uh, I can't remember who he credits that to, but I don't think that was his own. But his tips and handling on this are invaluable. His top change tips were incredible. Um, the guy is, again, he's a true master of sleight of hand. And so you, you, you get to sort of pick his brain. It's almost like you're there with him. Um, and there's just so much. I mean, I can't say enough about how much great material there is on here. Forget about the, the presentation, the effects even. Uh, although he does have some great plots and presentational angles, and uh, that's one thing I do like about, I really like about his stuff, 
is it's not just expose. It's not, look, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. He even talks about how he hates it when magicians do that. And he talks about how to clean up your act, so to speak, by cleaning up the way you speak and what you say during your presentation. Um, you have locked in his brain tips and advice from guys like Di Vernon and uh, Darwin Ortiz and uh, man, I'm, I'm blanking here on some of the people he mentioned, but tons and tons and tons of people that he's got information from that he's learned from them over the years. And he shares all of it with you. I mean, he shares his tips on, on um, the only thing he didn't do a lot of depth on that I was bummed out was Rocky the Raccoon. He did do his performance of it, but he didn't really talk too much about uh, his, about you know any of the, the tricks or the tips or whatever. I was a little bummed about that. But everything else. He's got a great spelling routine on there. I'm not a huge fan of those, but this one's got a lot of comedic potential, a lot of fun banter with the audience. Um, his uh, The Hypnotist is an excellent uh, color-changing deck routine. The Gypsy Thread, he's got a handling on that. He's got some cool ideas um, that go a little bit beyond the typical Gypsy Thread that you're probably used to. Whirlybird Silk Vanish was a great uh, vanish of a silk. <clears throat> um, his, uh, let's see what else, Floating Matrix was incredible. Uh, coin and Bottle, I mean, on and on and on. Just tons of stuff in here. But again, the big thing, the theme running through this, all the interview segments, you got to see his, his uh, um, footage from uh, Essential Magic Conference from 2012. That was sweet. I mean, that was just amazing. And very moving stuff. Very moving stuff. You really get to know him on a personal level. It's really, it's inspiring. Uh, so for 150 bucks to be able to sit at the feet of truly a modern day master, that's a pretty small price to pay, I think. And so for all those reasons and more, uh, I'm out. I sound like the Shark Tank there for a minute. For all those reasons and more, I gave this thing a five-star rating. With a stone status of Jim, capital G, capital E, capital M. And P.S., I'm a little cranky right now because my internet's down. Obviously, by the time you watch this, my internet will be up or else you wouldn't be able to see this video. But enough of that. It's ridiculous. Get it. Seriously. If, and if you're a card guy or not, there's card stuff and non-card stuff on here. Uh, get this thing. I mean, it's absolutely just full of great stuff. And it's the, the advice that's priceless on here. I mean, it really is. Just little things that he's learned, and he talks about how he came up with this particular way to do this move because of an experience he had with the real spectators and how they caught him here or, or had this problem in performance and he's trying to overcome this thing and, and he had to go this route instead of that route and all these different little tips and techniques of how, he got, how he's gotten it to where it's at today. And the dude's been doing magic for something like 40 years, man. I mean, forever. He's got a ton of experience, and what better guy to learn from? Anyway, I'm going on and on and on. Get the freaking thing. It's 150 bucks. Save up and don't buy the next two or three things of magic you were planning on buying. Get this instead. Meanwhile, back in Metropolis, we've got Johnny Cash again. This is the second time he's come up with June Carter. Random my team song in the moment. Oh yeah, Johnny, sing it. Just you wait to see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, that's uh, long-legged guitar picking man, Johnny Cash and June Carter. Uh, a little trivia, you guys probably know this, but the movie that they did about Johnny Cash, um, uh, Walk the Line, it was with, uh, was it Joaquin Phoenix? Uh, he played Johnny Cash. And he did all the singing. And then uh, Reese Witherspoon played June Carter. She did all the singing. They actually did their own uh, singing, which was amazing. Uh, that's a great movie, Walk the Line. Speaking of Walk the Line, uh, the band Live, uh, a.k.a. Live, depending on who you ask, they did a cover of Walk the Line. Also awesome. So there you have it. And I think uh, Nine Inch Nails did a, tr a cover of... Um, I can't remember which song it was now, dang it. But they did a cover of a Johnny Cash tune. Anywho, I'm a big fan. I grew up on the classic country. I told you guys that before. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next review, which will be sometime in the near future, man. See you guys. <laughs>